Hey guys, it's Dave here from Creative Path Films and today we're going to be exploring the unique relationship between colour temperature and your camera's white balance. Now if you haven't seen it already, make sure to go and check out last week's video where we explained colour temperature and different light sources, as we're going to be building on that foundation in today's video. Last week we explored how different light sources emit different colour temperatures as measured in degrees Kelvin. Now our brains have this unique ability to normalize to different lighting conditions. A great example is when you step out of a dark room into broad daylight and after you're assaulted with all of that light, you'll notice that the world appears to be slightly blue and then your eyes and brain adjust and everything goes back to normal. Well, our cameras can do the same thing if they're set to auto white balance. If we want to start using color temperature creatively, then we need to change this setting and start assigning our white balance manually, either by dialing in a specific value or by performing a custom white balance. Most cameras have a built-in color temperature scale, which you can shift up and down depending on your lighting condition. Whichever value we select, the camera will perceive this as neutral white, and it will also impact the values to either side of it on the scale. It will change their color and the saturation of that color. As you can see in this example, we have our white balance set to 4,500 degrees Kelvin, which is roughly in the middle of the scale. Please note that you might notice some slight color casts when looking at these examples, and this is caused largely by the coating on the lens. Everything with a lower color temperature value will appear to be warmer, and it will get progressively more and more orange the further away it gets from the white balance point. The same applies to sources with a higher color temperature value, which will get progressively cooler and more blue. First, let's have a look and see what happens when we change our white balance to the extreme ends of the scale. We'll start with 2,500 degrees Kelvin which is the lowest our camera would allow us to go. As you'll see, the candle still appears to be slightly orange as it still has a lower color temperature than the white balance point. But everything to the right of that gets progressively cooler and more blue, with 9,500 degrees Kelvin appearing almost royal blue. Now let's move to the other extreme and change our white balance to 9,500 degrees Kelvin. Now you'll see that everything to the left of this gets progressively warmer until we reach our candle, which is almost red. Now let's have a look at our two primary color temperatures. Let's start with 3,200 degrees Kelvin. At this setting, any tungsten sources will appear neutral and normal, and any daylight sources will appear cool and blue. Conversely, if we change our white balance to 5,600 degrees Kelvin, any daylight sources appear normal, and our tungsten sources turn warm and orange. As these are our two most common color temperatures, it's important to understand this relationship. All right, let's have a look at a sample to see what it looks like when we mix two light sources together, one that's tungsten and one that's daylight. Our key light coming from the window is a natural daylight balance, whereas our fill light is a tungsten light source. This is what it looks like when we set our white balance to daylight, and this is what it looks like when we change that to tungsten. Now let's have a look and see what happens when we set it in the middle at roughly 4,500 degrees Kelvin. Now obviously this example is just to give you an idea of what it looks like when you mix the two sources as a key light and a fill light. You can mix color temperatures very, very effectively and we're gonna be exploring that in an upcoming video. So make sure you're subscribed and have hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on that one. Once you get the hang of how different white balances interact with different light sources, then it unlocks a whole world of creative potential and you can really start to build a mood and style. A lot of newer modern lights are also bicolor, so you can dial in a specific color temperature value. They typically range from between 3,200 degrees Kelvin and 5,600 degrees Kelvin, but some lights go beyond even that. You can also use lighting gels to change a light's color temperature as well. These also come in different grades, and that allows you to decide how subtle you want that shift to be. If you learned something today and you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving us a like. And if you've got any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I look forward to seeing you in next week's video.